red pill, blue pill. Elon Musk tweeted to take the red pill. Now, what does this mean? We're going to look into the film, The Matrix, and decode what it ultimately represents. We have Neo and we have Morpheus. Neo represents the neocortex. Morpheus represents the truth. Now, he has a choice to choose the blue pill or the red pill. Now, the blue pill represents obedience. I will do as you tell me for my own good. Blue pill represents scared of the unknown. The blue pill represents scared of the truth. It will be safer if I stay in here. The red pill represents action. It represents courage. It represents moving fearlessly through the unknown. This is Sparta! Neo takes the red pill because he wants to know the truth. And he wakes up in this pod. Now this represents when you're waking up to truth that you're so confused and you have no idea what is actually happening. Now he has all these metal things and all these connections connected to him. Which represent the system, the government, having its hooks, having its hold over us. And then he looks over with horror and he's seeing millions of people that are hooked into the system. This represents the unconscious mind feeding the system energy and in this illusion and insane intrinsic world, you know, that's being governed and controlled. That is just an illusion of what reality could be. Then he gets out of this pod. And he has his body, he's laying down and they're rebuilding him and they have all these needles into him. This represents the weakness of the mind and just shows how we've been going unconscious to the truth and we have not been using our higher level of thinking. And then Neo says to Morpheus, Why am I eyes sir? And then Morpheus says, You've never used them before which represents you've never seen reality. You've never really seen the truth. You've just kind of been this robot for the system. And then Morpheus takes him into this training program. Is the construct. It's our loading program. Which is a training program, which is like our imagination, which is like the infinite field of possibilities. And then he shows all these people that are hooked up to the system where people are no longer born, they are made, they are grown, and they are governed, they are controlled, they are manipulated, they are made do and say exactly how the system wants them to act. Most of us are unconsciously feeding the system energy. We're not actually able to step out of the system and see life for as it is. Most people are just following the system and following everybody else to herd blindly. And what is the matrix? Control. And Neo says it's to turn everybody into a battery where you're just constantly feeding the system. You're not creative. You're not on your own path. You are just a... Into this battery for the system. Now, what actually is the matrix? Mind control. Because when you can control the mind, you can control the actions. When you can control the masses' minds, they will then control themselves. This is very powerful to understand. And as Neo starts to realize, he starts to reject it. Stop. Let me out. Let me out. He's freaking out. And this is what it's like at first waking up to the truth. You want to reject it. But first, it will piss you off. Stay away from me. And it will make you sick. <laughs> and then it will set you free. His weakness is too much. And he just can't accept the truth. And then Morpheus takes him to the next program, which is him showing him what the Matrix is really about. The Matrix is a system, Neil. How the system and the Matrix actually works. And then he says these people so inert, so hopelessly dependent on the system that they will fight to protect it. 
They are all in their comfort zone of the system. They don't want to get out of the system. They feel comfortable in the system because they don't know any better. They don't want to take any personal responsibility. And now when an agent comes and tells them, you know, you must believe this. So they make you accept the program because it makes them feel better. So they police it. So everybody has the same beliefs and they go accordingly in the same system so it's easy to govern. We're all in the same system. And then Morpheus says to Neo, But where they have failed, you will succeed. And then Neo says, What are you trying to tell me? That I can dodge bullets? And Morpheus says, No, Neo. I'm trying to tell you that when you're ready, you won't have to. Then we fast forward to the end of the movie where we can see all the codes. And then he stops the bullets because he says no. Because his mind has woken up beyond the system. And now he doesn't just believe what everybody else believes. He's now woken up. And now he can fight against the system, but he knows the natural laws of the universe. He knows law of attraction. He knows masculine and feminine energy. Polarity. He knows the power of cause and effect. He knows himself and he starts to understand the laws and the underlying principles of the world outside of the government system. So now he is no longer controlled by the default program and just believing what the masses believe. Because you know what they say, not everything that is popular is always right. So with that, you want to explore the truth because when you find the truth, the truth will set you free. And when you become free, you can take the power back and beyond. You step out of the government system and we are literally breaking the matrix. So if you found this uh, valuable, share it with a friend on how we are breaking the matrix and to understand truly what the matrix is. We always have to ask ourselves, where do we see truth in reality? So then we can take responsibility and take our power back so we can control our own mind and get our own results. So we can stop being slaves and unconscious batteries to the system. And like Mark Twain said, if you find yourself on the majority, it's time to pause and reflect. We are now breaking the matrix you got one eye open we'll find a way out we're breaking the matrix